Hey guys, welcome back to another episode. I am Darren Cabral, the CEO of Suit Social, a digital marketing agency that helps businesses build their brand, generate leads, and make more sales online. So today we're talking about why insurance companies, really the industry sucks at social media. Now, before you get mad at me, I'm not trying to piss anybody off. I'm actually trying to help. I need to say some of them get your attention. Now you're here, so let's talk about it. The reality is the insurance industry, like a lot of industries, are lagging behind in terms of social media strategy and leveraging modern marketing tools. You probably can relate to this, whether you're an agent, you own a brokerage, your team, you're part of a larger brand at a headquarter level or underwrite, whatever it is. You've noticed that you might not be keeping up or your team or your company's not keeping up with the trends of modern marketing and it's probably a little bit annoying. This is normal. We're seeing this in the real estate world still with mortgage brokers, with insurance companies. They're all kind of at fault and I'll address them all. But today we're gonna specifically talk about the insurance company and what you can do to get a better result and start actually using social media to attract more clients, to build your brand and get away from some of the older stuff that just isn't working anymore. Because the truth is the insurance industry is still doing a lot of old school marketing because that's what they know. That's what we're used to doing. That's what you guys are used to getting results from. Um, and of course, it's hard to change what we already know. So when you're doing you know, local print ads in your area and you're running billboards in your area, you're doing newspaper, you're doing radio, that may all be working, but my point is social will work better if you invest the same time, the same energy, and the same money. And you don't have to be a national brand. You don't have to be Geico to use social media, right? Which by the way, the insurance brands in this country have become some of the top advertisers on social over the last two years, which means the brands are shifting and they're seeing the opportunity. It's just gonna take time to trickle down to the individual you know, broker and agent level. So I'm gonna help you guys kind of get a head start and understand what they're doing and why there are some advantages here. So the first reason why insurance companies suck at social media is they don't quite understand the opportunities at hand. There are two. When it comes to social media, you have organic social media, that's creating content, posting, building your audience, you know, using platforms like YouTube and Instagram to grow a community that you can nurture and sell to and build a permanent audience um, and customer base that you really can control and own. That's the first opportunity. The second opportunity is paid advertising. All these platforms, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn, YouTube, Google, they allow you to run paid ads and put an offer, a product, a service, content in front of literally any customer in the world. And I think both organic and paid social media are slightly misunderstood um, in terms of how the average agent or brokerage can use them. So let's talk about that. When it comes to paid advertising um, for insurance companies, one thing to note is you don't have to be a massive brand. The beauty of Facebook ads, Instagram ads, all that is the targeting capacity. You can literally, and actually the smaller service area you service, the easier and better this becomes. Let's say you service just, you know, I'll pick a small town here in Canada, like Barrie, Ontario. Let's say you service Barrie, Ontario. There's about 200,000 people in this city. You're an insurance agent. You can run Facebook ads to a very specific segment. Maybe you target, you know, women that are 65 and older, that have recently retired, that are in a specific demographic of wealth, income, they just changed, whatever. You can pinpoint all of those demographic points in one single area, literally a circle around a city and hit just that group with specific ads speaking directly to them, literally calling out that customer, calling out their pain point and running those. And it can be so cheap that you can actually get views from that perfect customer for sometimes as low as a penny a view. So you're paying a cent, a penny to get that perfect customer in that exact city to view your content. Beauty of that though, is you can scale it. You can also do the whole province or the whole state, the whole country, you can do worldwide. That's the beauty of Facebook. You can literally run super targeted profitable campaigns in a little small area around your house or you could take it nationwide and pretty much everything in between that and that's something a lot of agents don't realize you can get very far with Facebook ads spending a thousand or two thousand bucks a month and literally canvassing an entire city where anytime anyone goes on a social platform for any reason whether they're going on Facebook to interact with their grandkids or they're watching a YouTube tutorial on how to plant petunias whatever they're doing you have an opportunity to get in front of them with your content from a paid ads perspective. The other side that's missed is your organic social media. When it comes to organic, building your Instagram, your YouTube, your Facebook, all that fun stuff, um, there's big value in community. One of the most profitable ways to leverage online media, social media, is community. Building a group of people that are basically coming around you, engaging, watching your content, looking to you as an authority, 
and you becoming a trusted figure in their eyes where they're either gonna buy from when the time is right, or they're gonna be able to send referrals to you, or they're gonna be sharing your content to potential prospects. Wow, got over my own tongue there. But there's a big opportunity to build that community and actually engage organically. Now, how do we do that? It's not about posting an ad once a week on your Instagram or talking about your products constantly or pitching people constantly. When it comes to organic, it's figuring out who is your customer, what matters to them, what problems do they have? What are their pain points? And then how can you start crafting real content to address that, to speak to that, to help them? So whether you're gonna entertain them or you're gonna educate them, you gotta provide some sort of value to that perfect customer consistently, where you have one, two, three, four posts or videos going out a week. You can choose how you do that. Maybe you don't like being on camera, that's fine. Use photos, use images, use design, and then put your content in the copy. Focus on writing it out and fixing the problem there, something they can read. Maybe Instagram isn't the platform for you. Maybe it's LinkedIn and you just wanna write longer format posts and articles. Maybe you just gotta do blogs every day and, and share them on Facebook and drive it. Whatever the format is, don't get hung up on. If you're great at video, do video. If you're great with photos, do photo. If you're great with writing written content, do written content. But the point is, you gotta be crafting content and using social to push people to that content so that you can become the industry expert, so that you can become an authority that people will trust and buy from. And the biggest mistake that I see insurance brokers and agents make is they don't put that kind of thinking into it. They just start posting random stuff, an offer, a promotion, a call to action, here and there, once every couple of weeks. And they're saying, social doesn't work, my customers aren't there. It's because you're not solving a problem. You're not actually adding any value. They're not opening their device or going on this platform and seeing your stuff and going, oh, this is great, I love it. This person's super helpful, they're an expert. They're not doing that. They're just seeing another ad, another promo, and they're skipping to the next thing. So you gotta figure out how you can solve that problem. And one of the biggest things is consistency so that you're not just you know willy-nilly pulling out your phone and starting to shoot stuff whenever you feel like it, but you're, you're becoming a professional about content creation um, and saying, I'm gonna pick a day a month, or I'm gonna sit down and I'm gonna shoot 10 videos or do 10 posts or whatever. Plan them all out film them, produce them, or write them, or whatever your method is gonna be in terms of what type of content. Do that in a day, get it scheduled out, and become professional about it. If you can do that, you'll be doing more than 99.9% .9 of agents in your field, and it's gonna be very easy, especially in the local market, for you to stand out. Because think about it, how many agents in your city right now are doing that? Probably none. And so you have literally an opportunity to dominate. You wanna level that up a little bit using trendy platforms, things like TikTok, where the fastest growing demographic right now is people age 35 to 55. This is a little known fact, it's happening very quickly. And what insurance agents are on TikTok, right? So if you can figure out how to make content for those platforms, these cutting edge platforms that are rapidly growing become the only one doing it, huge opportunity in organic. The biggest opportunity of all of this is meshing organic with paid. So if you as an insurance agent can figure out how can I produce steady, consistent, high value content, and then use advertising to really expand and promote that content to my perfect target audience at scale and make those two things work together, you're gonna build a brand online so quickly, a great community, a ton of people ready to buy from you and do business with you, and it's gonna blow you away. Far better than any newspaper ad or billboard or radio. There's gonna be so much value to that long-term beyond the transaction that you're never gonna get out of traditional media. And there's very, very few insurance agents or brokers doing it. That's kind of my take on the insurance industry and social media. Hopefully you took away some tips you can apply in your business, even if you take one or two things away from that and apply it. I'd love to see it. Drop a comment below if you agree or disagree, or if you're gonna take action, or if you have a question. Again, we are here for you, I'm here for you. You can even follow me on Instagram at Darren Cabral or our agency page at Suit Social. We drop way more tips, we answer DMs, we answer questions. So try this stuff out, let me know how it works, and don't forget to tune to the next video, and also like and subscribe, of course, if you found any value in this. I'll see you on the next video.